So you want to test this? Just double check it. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no. Everything is. Everything should be one hundred percent. And uh, well, I fucked up. <laughs> I thought yeah, everything. Was just so so people understand, this is one of the uh, premier radio personalities in all of America. Oh. Has worked in radio for forty years uh, and didn't know how to record the audio on the interview. This is what I'm dealing with, okay? <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. It's like hiring a painter to paint your house and he dips the handle into the paint, <laughs> tries to paint with the handle. I can't do this anymore. I can't live with incompetence in every aspect of my life and not have sex. It was one mistake, one mistake. Oh, there have been many. But we were brilliant, <laughs> but we were brilliant last week. I, my heart sank, I'm like, well, how are we going to replicate that? I had pubic no. hair, I had props, I had pubic hair and everything. Uh, that, that is true. Although this week... And let me see if I still have it in this... Wait, you still pail. have the pubic hair from last week? Let me see. I might have some I threw in this pail, maybe, unless my wife... I'm, I'm bald and I don't save mine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my wife, she probably... She probably put the pubic hair with all the other... My other pubic hair that she, in her lucky... Box. She's a freak. It's like when you die, she can knit you a shroud. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. No. No. Please tell me no. Uh, wait. She's uh, not even a curly cue anywhere. While while he's looking for this, let me explain that last week, prior to us not taping, right, he decided to do some manscaping. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> wow, you're a hairy f***. I am, I'm Italian. <laughs> So uh, well, well, actually, actually, I do. Ha I have props this week, uh, and, and and I have questions for you. So I'm going to try to. I ready. I'm going to try to share the screen here. All right. Hopefully, okay. this is, hopefully, I'm. I, I'm obviously working. I, can, can I just say something? What's can that? I just say something? Good. You trying to share the screen and go to another level on this Zoom is like a a person with their permit. A 16-year-old saying, you know what? I think I want to drive NASCAR now. No, why don't you just stay in your zone? You're comfortable. Zone. Okay. I, I work hard on this. I work Go ahead. Hard. Go ahead. Hard. Because I, I have a question for you, all right? So I've got, yeah. I've got, to, I've got to bring up this screen. All right? mm -hmm. And can you tell me, what is this all about? Can you see it? Yeah, I know exactly what that's about. <laughs> what is that? First of all, that is the Australian actor Paul Mercurio. That see the spelling of that name? That's how yeah. I actually spell my name. But I had to drop the, I draw had to change it because we're both in the actors' union. So I dropped the first R. So I spell it M E C U R I O. Okay, so so that means that this then is not okay. you. <laughs> well, he put his head on my body. So I yes, see. Is, I see. Yeah. So and, so and that is my and that is my bedroom. Um, I'm a big Bed Bath and Beyond fan, so okay. there you so, go. So, and at what point in, in, in your life, we're, oh no, I'm sorry, wrong one. <laughs> Where the hell's your other one? All right, here we go. This should be it. All right, this. <laughs> well, you know, that's when I was uh, I was living on an island, and they said the only way to get off the island is to <laughs> do this. And so I did that. He that was strictly ballroom. He was in this movie. Strictly oh, ballroom. it was in strictly. Oh, okay, okay. Right, so and that kind of launched him in America. He uh -huh. was he was actually a choreographer on it, from what I understand. And the actor and it couldn't really do the dancing scenes, so he did it. And then that led to ex, uh, exit to Eden, which had Rosie O'Donnell in a teddy. Hey, God! Oh, I, I remember that. I threw up <laughs> in my mouth a little bit. Hold on a second. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm better. And then he did TNT's Joseph, and then, and then he kind of disappeared. He was, you know, pretty hot for a little while, and then which he, is, goes, he moved back to Australia, right. and he which has a reality is. beer making show. Right. Oh, okay. Did. So that's yeah. what Beerlicious is. But the problem is, some people mistake me for him, and vice versa. Right. So I get every two, three weeks on my Twitter feed, I get uh, beer recipes, <laughs> thinking it's this guy. 
So, right. Now, is it, po is so it possible my, that- And my response to the beer recipes are- He's been drinking a lot of the beer, obviously. That's not him. That is him. That I, is, I swear on my mother, that is him. Oh, I nearly killed my mother. I, was God, I look my so brain. good. Look at me. You're ruining the Mercurio name, asshole. Right. That's well, not him. How did, what happened to him? I swear to you, it's him. <laughs> that is not. That's a guy that works at a ski jet, uh, a jet ski <laughs> rental place in the Bahamas. That's uh, who that uh, is. A, obviously, he took this picture just before he married his mother. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> I'm I telling you. This is him, right? Uh, and then, uh, and then he looked like this when he died. You know? <laughs> this is also Paul Mercurio. Just so you know. Is it really? Yes, yes. This is what I'm going to look like. <laughs> he is. You know what? Knowing your background, there is a real good chance that that is what you're going to look like. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, he's got a lot of my pubic hair under his nose. <laughs> Let me see Who is the up. woman? Is that his wife? That's with that's him? his wife. Yes. He literally, he married, it looks like he married a mother from Little House on the Prairie. That's I know. I know. So. Wow. Yeah. This. So, <laughs> that's, that's what I did this morning. I, I, I used to, I used to get so frustrated with him, you know, because he had my name first and now He's taking it to a new level of really ruining my name on another whole other level. I, I, def, I want you to go and, and go find, just put in Fat Paul Mercurio. I guarantee you that picture is going to come up because <laughs> that, that was the article in some Australian newspaper. Look at how <laughs> fat Paul Mercurio got. <laughs> you think I should change my name to something more anglicized so yeah he looks like he's gonna die any day now so <laughs> next thing he'll i'll know like is the last wife, he'll be getting a call from his wife hey look i have your last name anyway you want to hook up i'm like you know how to make beer if you don't know how to make beer don't even come near me <laughs> yeah have you ever thought about sleeping with your mother <laughs> <laughs> oh the, so the covid thing yeah yeah so go ahead because so because something like something came in the mail about it but uh, I've had COVID and I'm still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I can give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and so I basically, you know, um, you know, I've been really tired from it. I can't taste. I can't smell. Mm -hmm. And when you eat, like the only thing you realize, like when you when you can't taste anything. There's no joy in the day at all because especially when you're sick, that's at least the one thing you can look forward to. Like. A couple of nights ago, we were going to watch a movie. My wife's like, I'm making a buttered popcorn. You want some? I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm watching my weight. So I'm just going to eat these styrofoam peanuts that I got from <laughs> it's, it. It's the same thing. I'm telling you, you can't taste anything. And then I'm talking to somebody. Uh, Paul, Paul Castronovo, he's got a radio show down in Florida. Anyway, huh. that, that I've been on. And he, he's like telling me. He goes, you know when people like think they're helping you by relaying stories of other friends that have the same illness, right? right. So he actually goes to me, I go, yeah, I can't taste it. And he goes, oh, dude, he goes, I know a guy, he got it. Four months later, he still can't taste anything. I'm like, ugh. And then, then another friend go to me, yeah, I got a friend. He got over it quickly, was fine. And then all of a sudden collapsed, uh, had a blood clot in his leg. They may have to remove the leg. And then a third person, this is all within one week, goes to me. Oh, yeah, I know a woman. Uh, she was uh, very healthy going into it, like you. Got it. And then uh, about a month later, uh, she was at the market, and her lung collapsed. And I'm like, you know what? You're not my friend anymore, ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. And so I, and by the way, I got it because I was performing in Florida uh, at a club, and they didn't have people wearing masks in the club. And and here's the thing, I'm not gonna get I think everybody wait, 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 you mean you mean to tell me the droplets could come out of people's mouths when they're laughing? That's exactly I know, right? And then and then they think, oh well, we social distance the table, but people at the table don't know where each of them have been. Like there's like a real estate right. company where there was twelve people from an office having an office party and they're shoulder to shoulder and they're laughing and 
you know, and I'm licking everybody's face during the show, but I don't think that had anything to do with <laughs> nothing, it. Nothing. Nothing. But here's the thing that I noticed, like, you, you're not a little bit pregnant in life. If you're going to wear the mask, wear the friggin' mask. Don't wear it on your chin, okay? I mean, I hate them. You can't, your chin doesn't get, I mean, you might as well just like cut off the fingertips of the latex. Or these people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you seeing these people? It's like, yeah. but aren't, but you're not using your nose. I know. Exactly. Your nose doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> these are the same people that cut off the fingertips of the latex gloves so they feel like they're Madonna, you know? So they have dexterity and they can text. Like, I just, I, the whole thing is just. And then I was reading that like, people are going on cruises again. Like who who goes? Why would you go on a cruise? Like what? First of all, like just without COVID, why would you go? On, you pay six hundred dollars to live in a closet for a week and eat Golden Corral quality buffet. Why would you go on a cruise? And they don't even know how to operate the ships. There was but there was one ship that rear-ended another ship. How do you rear-end? It's an entire ocean. Go around. Just go around. It was go a Greek around. ship. <laughs> There's only one reason to go on a cruise, and that's to kill your wife. That's the only reason, or a husband. Oh. Oh, my wife just came and she made me eggs. Here, oh, say yeah. hi. Hello. Hi. I you know this is the first time I've ever seen your wife. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. You want to see her pubic hair? <laughs> no. How do you live with this man? Exactly. <laughs> What's in this? It tastes very salty. I put this Lowry salt in there that you, you made like. me eggs. That's well, uh, be happy. You're tasting them. Yeah. That is why I come in here. I bring him eggs. He complains about salt. That, but that's that's his job. That's how he pays for that house. <laughs> come in. Look at her lip. She no. she was in the sun and her she's it's hideous. It's it like is hideously. I'm swollen. like a, it's like I'm living with the hunchback of Notre Dame. It's, if her lip had a hump. It's awful. <laughs> well, these eggs are great. I feel and I, salty. I, yeah, they're they're salty and they're yellow. I can tell you that. <laughs> that that working for? Her. Bye. Goodbye. It's where you say thank you. Hey, thanks. I'll uh, I'll yeah. hit you up. Yeah. I'll give you a little something later. Yeah, a little. Oh, she went a little. She went back. <laughs> she went a good comeback. So here's the thing with the COVID thing. Um. You know, friends calling, asking how you uh -huh. doing. Right? And I get a card in the mail, and um, it's like it seems like a greeting card. You know, it's handwritten, and but I don't recognize the return address. And I open it up, and that's what's uh, the and I okay. So I open it up, and right? It's asleep, and it's dear neighbor. I hope this letter finds you well. As COVID nine cases are still on the rise, and the government agency continues in. It would be irresponsible to come to you door to door to speak face to face. Okay. The Bible tells us this is Jehovah's Witnesses hitting me up through the mail. Through the mail. Okay. And it, it was the, now, the, the minute I see Bible, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And I don't know if they got it through like the public roles. Like the, the, the once you have it, it's public, not public information. Yeah. So then goes on to quote scripture like, during what may seem to be the darkest of times, trust me, they are. It doesn't seem to be, they are. The scriptures offer hope. For example, Psalms 46, God is our refuge and strength, a help that is really found in times of distress. Oh, yeah? Can God come around and make me eat so I can taste pepperoni pizza again? Okay? This sucks. You want to know why? It takes all the fun out of slamming the door in their face. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to live. I got two of these. I got two of these. And they want me to go to jw.com. It's Katie, by the way, with a K. jw.org. If you'd like to learn, Bible, oh my God. Th this, this, this is how bad it's gotten. So, well, I've always contended that, that if you're going to, if they're going to go to door, door to door, why don't yeah. we give them the mail? At least, at least they will be accomplishing something. They're used to leaving things behind. Here, take these coupons. Here's the electric bill. Bring them over to Paul's house. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, and so um, we, um, and so I uh, uh, was sleeping in separate. So my wife didn't get it. And so that was a stretch. 
um, no sex. Turns out I've been practicing COVID my whole life. I just didn't know it. And my whole man. I've been practicing for at least 15 years now. <laughs> I'm older than you. <laughs> you're, you're safe. You haven't gotten it at all, right? You have no, 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 no. But, well, she is a COVID Nazi. So, I mean, I, I am surprised I don't have to take my clothes off before I come in the house. Right? <laughs> Once I'm in, strip down, go shower, right? Then I can go about my day. Don't touch the dogs. <laughs> don't touch the dogs. Right? So, that's what my wife obsessed about uh, our dog Daisy. Like, don't touch the dog. Like, I'm like, the dog's not going to get it. Like, the dog's eating sticks and poop and everything. Like, what right. Did, uh, and, uh, so and you're in your office right correct i'm in my office yeah. this yeah. orange thing above me i just realized that when i sit up i've got this bar going across my head at least it matches my shirt right I'm just gonna say you see the amount of pictures on the wall yeah right that's a level and whenever i see them out of that's how friggin anal i am when everyone is out of the sort i take my level and I make sure they're all right again and, you know and I got to the point like I'm not going, I'm not going into my shop to get that damn level again, right? Just leave it there. It looks good, right? It should make me something in your shop. You woodwork, right? But yeah, yeah, I do, I do woodwork. Make me, make me like a nice little like end table. You want an end table? Square, oh. okay? <laughs> You're not gonna even try, you lazy bastard. Knowing you, you'll just to bust my balls, you'll make it not level. So it. I, it'll be it. it's very avant One magic book. <laughs> very avant <laughs> Speaking and, of COVID, uh, speaking of COVID I, I'm not sure if I told you before we do this. I, I do this thing in the morning. When I have a COVID story, we call them COVID idiots, right? These are the stupid things that these people do. Right. Yesterday, I get a picture of a school is open in Georgia already. High schools are open in Georgia already. I guess right. all schools are open in Georgia. Right. And there's this hall. It's like, you know, I don't know if the kids are showing up or if it's between classes, but it's high school kids. It is packed from wall to wall for as far as you can see. Right. I'm looking at the picture and there's only five kids who have masks on. Not another kid has a mask on at all. Right. Are they in, they're in the halls. Right. Right. They're in the, it's just one hall, just one long hallway. Right. 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 Is this the kids post the picture online. What happens? What do you think happens? Uh, someone complains that people aren't wearing masks. No, the school suspends the two kids for putting the picture online. <laughs> of course, it's course. That's like reporting Nazis and shoot, then shooting the people reporting them in the head. Come on, <laughs> leave the Nazis alone. They just were. They were just lost. Right, was, right, right. They were. They were just lost in their own. St they're, they're better people now. Like they suspended. The two it's kids. The kids. Yeah. Uh, what, pre what was the premise? What was the basis? I, I guess they, 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 you know, I guess they broke security or protocol or something like that. Because this way, when the gunman shows up, he knows which way to run down the crowded hallway. No, it was probably because they shot it a uh, portrait instead of landscape. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, it was portrait. <laughs> but it wouldn't have worked landscape. Then you just got walls. They were smart. They did it the right way. There was smart. You don't want the lockers. You don't want anybody seeing locker 133. That's where all the dope is stored. <laughs> That's it. So are they, did they, did they get I know nothing else them? beyond that, other than that they got suspended. That's all I, that's all I got. You know, I have a limited amount of time on the air. I can't get all the facts out there. I just get the points. <laughs> so what are you doing today? Uh, let's see. Today. After I'm done waiting for you to start this, um, I am, oh, I, uh, I, I. It was my I, mother. I was dealing with my mother. I know you were dealing with your mother, which in itself, I'm surprised I'm even talking to you. Right? Uh, uh, this, prior to talking to you, I, I, I changed the, the bulbs in the light above the garage door. Now, now this, this house is really old, okay? This house is built in 1929. Wait, you changed uh, the light bulbs in the garage? No, on the light over the garage door. That's even where you really need to get, you need to get out of that. Right. <laughs> so, right, go ahead. so, so uh, the house is really old. I don't know what they were thinking or what sort of midgets they had, but I don't know if you could say, these are ham hands. These are, these are huge friggin' hands. Okay. Those are, those right. are, 
Those are people, foolishly large. Yes, right. People make fun of these all the time. We even have songs about my hand hands, okay? Have so, they, have they always been like that big? Yeah, that yeah, fat? yeah, yeah. Hey, I can do an octave why and a half on a piano. <laughs> why don't you Why don't you put your uh, hands on a diet? Just uh, kind of see if you can lose some weight. you seen the rest of me? My hands are the least of my problems. <laughs> The 19 is right here. That's where the covered 19 went. They're right here. And I am not exaggerating. <laughs> you put it on? Yeah. Oh, oh I, I, I got to tell you, just, just as an offshoot, before I get to the technology of this light, all right, um, as you age, because I am, you know, slightly older than you by about, what, 20 years? Uh, anyway, as you age, it seems that the reason why you see old men with these big bellies that's where it goes. It gets to a point, the rest of me is all the same size, right? But it all goes right here now. And I hate those exercises more than any exercises on the planet, right? So I'm gonna die a fat guy. <laughs> That's it, so. I can hear the eulogy. It'll probably be coming a card from uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> He had fat hands, and it'll start that way. <laughs> hey, don't don't make too many jokes about me, or I'll make you a Paul bearer. Imagine carrying this. Oh my God! Oh, wait, I'll get the other Paul Mercurio. He's fat enough; he can carry you. <laughs> so anyway, so I go outside to fix this light. I've never looked up in this light at all. It has three bulbs in it, but they're those little candelabra bulbs. Right. I don't know what they were thinking, right? Yeah. And now. It, nothing opens. Nothing opens on the light at all. The glass doesn't come off. The top doesn't come off. Nothing opens. The design on this was, well, this thing's kind of hanging. So all you have to do is push it to one side and normal hand people should be able to get their hand up in the air and twist the bulb and get it off. And then uh, the other way, and come around this way and then pull on, on this side and around this way, all right? So now I'm trying to get these ham hands on a bulb that's about this big, right? And, and what would have taken a child, right, probably three or four minutes to get done, I was out there for at least 15, right? changing three bulbs. That's five minutes of the bulb. Why didn't you hire a kid in the neighborhood? Because you'd be the creepy guy handing a kid money right. Right. in front right. of everybody. You, you, you've never been to my house. You've never seen my neighborhood. There are no children. They're all old. Everybody's left. <laughs> Right. No, I never asked you this. How did that, mu I, it's a great mustache. Mm -hmm. and I, you probably told it, but you got to tell me because I never asked you this. How did, the, how did you d decide to come up with that? Grow it and do the thing? Um, it started, I don't know why, but I had the strangest feeling you were going to ask about this today. Um, there's a picture behind me, which is probably the last time I didn't have facial hair. It was when I was in college. The, the mustache showed up when I was a, a junior or senior in high school, right? And then I took it off for a bit. And then when I got to college, I stopped shaving and, and the mustache returned. And in that time, it was just mustache. I went, I had, you know, uh, you know 70s porn mustache. I had Fu Manchu, went like this. I, thought I had the whole thing this way. I had mutton chops in the thing. And then at one point, I just stopped shaving. And I had this beard, not knowing that this thing was, because I'm an idiot, it was still growing too. And it was kind of laying on top of it. And in 1980, uh, I went to do radio in Pittsburgh, where the sky is brown and yellow and the plants are as smart as the people. It's not the edge of the universe, but you can see it from there. Right? Uh, anyway, I, would, I, I, I go and I decide, you know what, I'm going to take this off. And when you take a beard off, you start doing things like, Oh, look, I'm Abe Lincoln. Oh, look, I'm, uh, I'm Amish. Oh, look, you know, and as I'm shaving it off and doing different, all of a sudden I realize this thing's actually been sitting on top of the beard all that time. I just always oh, look, I'm a, I'm a server at the ground round. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Right, right. Hey, I can pose for Monopoly posters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, is Jerry Colonna dead? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, cool. like and, shit. And, and I saw up. this and I went, you know what? That's kind of cool. And it got even bigger at one point. There, there, there was a point that it, it might have been even out to here, right? And it, it is, everyone else has hair problems. I have mustache problems. On days that I shave, it does not want to behave. It just wants to 
You mean it's all over the place? Yeah, it's all over the place. Do you have to put beard wax in or? Uh, no, I use mustache wax because waxing your beard is really kind of stupid. <laughs> 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 so. And y your wife, Lisa, she, she obviously likes it. Yeah, yeah, no, she likes it uh, for, uh, she was just telling me the other day, uh, you know, that she said, I don't think you should ever shave, oh, because Jeff Foxworthy shaved his mustache off, oh. right? right, yeah, but he did it for like a day, right, he was, he was, you know, uh, he has his farm, he was loaned his wife, do you know Jeff at all? Not really, the, no. Great guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he is, he is everything you expect him to be. He is you've that. Had him on the, you've had him on the show? Uh, a ton of times, a yeah. ton of times. So uh, he was supposed to be on the other day, and that's when they found out that uh, John DeBella doesn't live in Pittsburgh. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> they put my name in and then called the radio station in Pittsburgh. I was like, where's Jeff? I don't know. <laughs> See, where the sky is brown and yellow and the plants are as smart as the bees. Oh, that's hilarious. Right? So anyway, so so she turns to me, she says, goes, she says, you know, I don't think you should ever turn, uh, cut your mustache off. I said, okay, fine. And I, and I said, you know, I never really thought about it. I, I thought it would be really freaky. And the only time I ever thought I would cut it off is after I murdered her, right? Because <laughs> shave off the mustache, don't talk, they'll never find me again. And no, no one would recognize you otherwise. They're just like, right. no, look, that's for, look for a large belly and freakishly large hands. And that's yeah. our life. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, so she, but here's what she says. You could this strangle, you could strangle a family of five at the same time with those hands. <laughs> right. um, uh, but here's what she says about, no, no, he says, the reason why uh, you shouldn't shave off your mustache is, right, you don't have much of an upper lip. That's right? why I want to see what's under there. You gotta right, get, right, right. Next time you got to show a picture. Next, right. next time. We'll okay. Be All right. And, uh, and, and this was the, the, and your parents, I know, weren't, couldn't afford braces when you were a kid and you have that terrible underbite. So the mustache disguises it all. And, you know, and that f the feeling of love that I got from that truthfulness right then, exactly. right, is yet another reason why I haven't killed her. Right. <laughs> it's like, honey, um, here, here, this is a mask. I can't <laughs> wear it. There's so many deformities about your head <laughs> that it would just be better if it were covered from society uh. <laughs> for, for the rest of your life. Uh, listen, I got to jump. I got to go back to deal with my mother, unfortunately. Okay. With, uh, oh, yeah, what, I got to jump. But the, did you find something out on the street that she can't move on her own? You have to go up the property? She, no. no, she just uh, makes Donald Trump look like Mother Teresa in terms of being <laughs> she, she She's like, she happens, she has enough narcissism. She's got, there's Hitler, Mussolini, Trump in her. She's a mix of, uh, uh -huh. you know, oh, in terms of the narcissism. It's, it's, there's a, it's, it goes way back and uh, she will not go down either. We, I try everything, bad cheese, you know, old milk, <laughs> just bounces right back up like a little Italian. Th th those two things are my kryptonite, by the way. <laughs> I swear to God, I can eat absolutely anything, but if a piece of cheese is about to go, I'm a dead man for days. <laughs> you don't want to be around me. <laughs> uh, what, one last thing, all right, yeah. before you go. What should we call this? Uh, fat hands in the guinea? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, hate I don't know. I think we gotta we gotta let it find in itself find a name. Like, All right. Uh, um, you know. Right now it's two guys on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> two guys on Zoom. We think. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. We're not sure because I haven't stopped this yet. All right. Exactly. Let's, let's just, let's okay. see. I'm just gonna tell you now. If this so. doesn't if this doesn't stick to the tape, don't text me. Don't call me. All lose right. my number. You're dead to me. All right. It says it's, it says it's recording. It's, All right. Well, okay. Okay. So now I don't know. We need to think about. All right. I think we should have pubic hair in the title. I think. There's, okay. So, I don't know. I don't know. Let's think about it. I get a like picture. Manscaping with Paul and John. <laughs> get a picture of your mustache uh, without your faceless, your mustacheless face the next time. Okay. Night. All right. You're right, not gonna like it. All right. See you around campus. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, by the way, wait, what? let's do plugs.
They should people should go listen to your radio show. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm on uh, weekdays uh, from uh, from uh, six until nine in Pittsburgh. Uh, and you're in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh right? On uh, on Classic Rock 102.9 MGK in Philadelphia. And uh, you, where are you appearing next? Uh, the living room. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to be. I'm going to be in the living room. Then I'm going to the garage to put up garage organizers, and then I'm going to put a bullet oh, maker. Now and, I understand why you were pressed for time. <laughs> and then um. Do you my, need uh, damn hands? I can drive up to Connecticut and help. <laughs> Lift hands. <laughs> the power here. I need, I need your, I need your shoplifting hands. That that the ability. To, um, I'm going to be in yeah at yahoo.com slash Paul Mercurio. I got uh, my YouTube channel and posting videos there. Okay. Uh, time and my podcast, Paul Mercurio Show. Mm -hmm. uh, been on. Um, I have Islands uh, Islands Wybell on right now. Uh, great interview, original writer for SNL, writes for Billy Crystal, co-created It's Gary Shanley Show. In fact, Kevin Costner, Paul McCartney. Steven you spoke Curry. to Costner? I, yeah, I just did him a couple weeks ago. Yeah. No, I mean, you spoke to him. I didn't want to know about the sex you had with him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, the Paul McCurio Show. You can hear me having sex with Kevin Costner. Do you watch Yellowstone? Uh, I have some watched some of it, not the whole thing. It's really good, right? Really good. Yeah, it's really and it's really a good interview because it's about his sort of creative process, and he's we talk a lot about music because he's in a band, he's been in a band a long time, and how that feeds his acting, and so we really got into some cool stuff, and I'm going to have him on again. And Alan Swibell, same thing, really cool about the creative process and everything. So, cool. Home Curio show, it's Google Play, and I, I, you know, if I get really good at this, I could put graphics down at the bottom saying all <laughs> no, this. Let's not, so. Hey, hey. Let's just stick with the training wheels. You just hit record, okay, and then fix your little mustache. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> really? I'll say someone's gonna someone's gonna complain about that thing. Someone's gonna say something about that. <laughs>